Hello and welcome to Instacart Holdings, your worldwide instrument partner. We have got a particle counter from CEM, the model number being DT9880. We also have another particle counter with the model number 9881, which is having an additional parameter as CO and SCHO. We'll just unbox this and see what features we got in this instrument along with uh, the instruction to connect to the PC and uh, see the readings. This is how the box looks like. Is the whole box which has got all the standard accessories along with. This is the instrument, the main instrument, particle counter. You can see the camera, the sensor for temperature, humidity, wet bulb and all and the particle count sensor with some keys on front and uh, the connectivity ports. We will go to the details. Before that, I'll just walk you through with this uh, standard accessories. So this is a zero filter. This is the USB cable to connect this to the PC. This is a standard mini USB cable. And this is uh, nine volts adapter. In case of battery outage, you can use this to charge. We also got SD card or mini SD card, but uh, please remember that this is uh, has to be bought separately and this doesn't come as in a standard package. So I have just taken this extra of 8 GB and the instruments also supports up to 8 GB of memory. Now to take the stable readings, we also got a standard accessory, a tripod. You can fit this and probably take the readings. Along with this, the documentation part, you have the user manual, a CD and the test report. Now coming to this, uh, uh, particle counter the basic features uh, for this particle counter is it's got a 2.8 inches TFT LCD display and uh, the best part of this particle counter is that it is having six channels which we get in an expensive models of particle counter so we have got in this model also it supports air dew point wet bulb temperature and humidity measurement also and it supports uh, images capture which is from this camera and also video capture which is in 3GP. This has got a setup control for date and time and other controls should you require and USB interface is also available with the data logging feature and we can also put the micro SD card as just shown a while back. Okay, so we'll just try to put this on. Before that, I would like to tell you the specifications for this particle counter, which is like it has got a channel of 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 1, 2.5, 5 and 10 micron. And uh, the flow rate is 0 0.1 cubic feet, which is 2.83 liters per minute. The count mode is total differential and concentration and uh, the coincidence loss is 5%. For the temperature and humidity measurement, it is having a temperature range of 0 to 50 degrees, which is 32 to 122 Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit and the accuracy of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius plus or minus. The humidity range is 0 to 100 uh, with a basic accuracy of plus or minus 2.5%. The dew point temperature is minus 30 to 100 degrees Celsius 
and uh, the web, wet bulb temperature range is 0 to 80 degrees Celsius. Now this is how you have powered it on and it shows the particle. Now we can use these buttons to go to that either records. So if you see the memory set is there. So if you have taken pictures in this, you can see the pictures, video or particle logs. So we have taken some particle logs, I believe. So there are four logs, four different files of this. Should you require to go back to the main menu, you have to press the escape button. And again to the main menu is this. To the setting screen, you can go by pressing the F2, which is the middle key. You can set the date and time, font color, language, brightness, auto power off, display timeout, alarm, memory status. Also it has got factory setting and units either in degree Celsius or Fahrenheit. The last is the information which tells about this keys actually. Now we have pressed the enter button which means that it has go to the test or run mode. It is showing the current temperature RH, dew point and wet bulb as of now. But if you require to take these readings, you have to run this basically. Okay, so I'll just do a test run. You have to press this test run and you see this some sound coming which means that it is taking the samples and you can see that the count has been changed three two one stop so it has done a sampling of 30 seconds and uh, it has given the results over here now you can go to the memory and again see the log there is a new log which has been made for this particular sampling okay So I go to the report and I see for these many channels what was the count actually. So I see that the 0 0.3 microns it has got the maximum count whereas the 10 microns were the least count. Which means that it is also indicating that the room condition is favorable and it doesn't have much PM 2.5 or PM 10. We will now try to connect to the PC. I will just do the basic setup for that. Before connecting to the PC, I would like to show the setting screen for this counter basically which has got some features like sample time. When you get into the sample time, you can see 21 seconds. It has also got a start delay which means how much seconds you want to start delay start this. The channel display, it means you want all the channels to be displayed or you want to select only one ambient temperature and humidity enable or disable sample cycle how many times you want to do that sample cycle sample mode is it cumulative differential or concentration interval time interval and finally the level indicator so where the level has to show we will now connect to the PC and see how the data has been downloaded so we will just put the memory card inside I will show you how to put this you have to remove the battery 
and see there is a memory slot over here you basically have to insert this so you have to put like this and press it so that it gets in and if you want to open you can just push it so I'm just trying to put it on again and connect to this PC There's a PC connectivity option here. Okay, so the moment I connect to the PC, it gets on again and shows USB. You can go to file, open and click on data file rather you can go to the you can see this data files there are five files which has been generated and the latest one you can see just have to open it and you can see the records which were there here Now this is currently showing in the software. If you want to save to the desktop or your local folder, you can just click on save as. Use your desktop as of now and I am putting test 4 and save it. Again I go to the desktop and I see that test 4 is generated. I click on this you can see this data downloaded over the excel file now there are other options as well I can I will take another file and you see one more has been added similarly I can take another record another sampling record so I got some multiple records over here okay so if I want to save this uh, collated we can also save this either in list or graph if I save in graph it will be showing as PNG format and you can see the relative graphs which are shown here date wise and micron wise so I can save the graph or save the list to save the list it is again excel file and you can save as collate in desktop and also you can save the graph so now you can go to the desktop and you can see this the excel file generated along with the collated data of all the samplings being taken okay so you can see the date and time and probably with the help of this excel you can run your macro or you can run the pivot table or chart or whatever you want to generate another part is the png file which shows the graphical representation of all the sampling being taken so
let's see if this opens in photos yeah so you can see this graph generated with all the five different data uh, taken at different time So we have now understood how to connect to the PC, how to see the graph, how to see the Excel and the basic operation of this particle counter. The best part of this particle counter is the video and the uh, photo recording which actually makes it uh, very well at the time of audits or any kind of compliance related uh, uh, um, fulfillment. So uh, this instrument suits perfectly in these kind of environments where you need a uh, lot of uh, proofs and uh, photographs and you know video for uh, submitting to the audit team or concern team i hope you have uh, got a fair information about this instrument should you wish to know more about this instrument and uh, talk to our expert for buying suggestion for different kind of particle counters even in fixed or portable, we do have solutions. You can always reach us www.instrucard.com and uh, reach us for buying suggestions. Thanks for watching.